You know, it really did not take long at all for this right here to become one of my favorite cool weather fragrances, especially for fall when you kind of have that transitional temperature period. It works great, although here lately it's actually been feeling like straight up winter time. And so I've still been wearing this uh, relentlessly and it still works great. So it doesn't really matter, but I love this stuff. And the reason why is because it smells very similar to this at a fraction of the cost. YSL Tuxedo, I bought this back when I had no business to be buying stuff like this because uh, this is way too expensive. <laughs> like The only way I could afford this back when I bought this was to split it out and that's why I'm left with this little piddly amount right there. I didn't wear through the whole thing, that's just how I was able to afford the bottle because I really wanted my own bottle and uh, it really doesn't leave me with a whole lot. And when I got mustache, I'm like, you know what? This is very similar at a fraction of the price. Now, one problem with mustache is it can be hard to get sometimes. I mean, this can go months at a time being sold out. And sometimes it'll come back for great prices. Other times it'll come back and be uh, significantly more expensive. Like right now it can be floating around the $70 range. Personally, I still think it's worth it at that price 100%. But I have another option for you, and that's what we're gonna be looking at today. Afnan Tarathi Brown, which I've gotta say is so incredibly close to mustache. Just telling you right now, to the point where it's almost hard for me to differentiate them. Like if I was to do a blindfold test, I would struggle with that big time. So we're gonna check this one out today. I'm gonna to tell you how it smells, how it performs, when you can wear it. If I think it's worth picking up, all of that good stuff. And I'm sure by now you probably know my answer anyway, but if it's not already obvious, we'll talk about it. And before we start, I will leave a link to this down below where you can get it for the $40 range, kind of lower $40 range. So gonna be putting it at a more affordable price overall. One thing to point out though, is that this is a 90 ml bottle, mustache is 120 or 125. So you're getting a little bit less, but still in a lot of situations, this will come out to actually be a little bit more affordable. So let's go and jump right into the smell. I mean, immediately when you first get this one on your skin, you get that vanillic and patchouli heavy smell. And that's kind of what this DNA is all about. Vanilla, benzoin, patchouli, some kind of spices from a pink pepper. You get that immediately. And one thing that's so cool about this DNA is it's so unique. Obviously there are now three things that smell similar to it. And there's probably more out there that I'm not even aware of. But beyond that, if you were to apply this and then walk into the into the grocery store, not even the grocery store, if you were to walk into a big establishment where there are thousands of people, uh, is anyone else going to be wearing something that smells like this? Probably not. You're going to be getting a ton of Sauvage and Blue Fragrances and Aqua de Joe. Nothing like this. So if you go with the DNA like this, you're immediately going to be separated from the crowd. You know, there's something so special about it. It's just so unique and it's just kind of why I'm so hooked on this stuff. So I will go over the note breakdown for you. Uh, this is according to Parfumo.net. It's not yet on for granted, I don't believe. Uh, we've got patchouli, amber, ozonic notes, and woody notes up top. We have spicy notes and vanilla in the mid. And in the base, we have balsamic notes, rose, and aquatic notes. So a few of these here don't really make a whole lot of sense to me, primarily being uh, the rose and the aquatic notes. Uh, I've been testing this one quite a bit, and I don't really get either of those two. So I don't want that to throw you off too much. It's not watery, it's not aquatic, and it's not really floral either. Among those notes, a ton of patchouli, a good heavy dose of amber, and it's the same with both of the other versions I was talking about. Spices, like I had mentioned, vanilla, and but then I also get a benzoin, which they don't list off, and that's kind of more of the dustier side of the vanilla smell. And then the vanilla itself is giving off more of a syrupy sweetness. Uh, I believe that's pretty much it. Balsamic notes, maybe a little bit, but one other thing is the ozonic notes. And that is one thing that you do kind of pick up on a little bit. It gives it this kind of airy, light, freshness and it's a really nice balance that the scent I do believe benefits from and it does need and that's kind of also what separates this one because you're getting the sweetness, this uh, ambery kind of uh, just, I don't know, ambery light smell, some sweetness mixing with this kind of fresh, airy, uh, blue sky type of smell is kind of how I would describe it. It's just kind of 
very much a hybrid type of scent. You're getting freshness and you're getting sweetness kind of mixed into one here. And the way the patchouli comes across too is very unique as well. It's not too earthy, it's nothing dirty or anything like that, but it is almost a little bit chocolatey and it's more of a sweeter variety of patchouli. And that's what really sets the, and that's what really sets this DNA off and it smells amazing. Now, there are some differences between mustache and tuxedo. Basically, mustache is a little bit more vanilla forward than tuxedo. Tuxedo is even more patchouli and ambergris forward. Uh, this one, you're still getting a ton of that ambergris, ton of that vanilla, a ton of that patchouli. But this, if I had to say which this was closer to, I would say this is more so a clone of mustache than tuxedo. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh, now it's cloneception, now they're cloning clones of clones. I don't think that's what they did here. I don't think that they looked at Rojas and said, let's clone them. I think they were going to the source and they were trying to get into this DNA. But again, if I had to choose which one I think they're closer to, it would be the Rojas. It would be mustache eau de parfum. All in all, it's still kind of achieving the same thing at the end of the day and just what it is. But I do really like how this one comes across. And I actually do like that it is going to be a little bit more vanilla forward. I think this combined with the price makes it much more entry level. Tuxedo, even if it was significantly cheaper, given that it pushes farther in the patchouli and stuff like that a little bit more, it might be a little bit more challenging. But overall, this DNA is much more likable to the masses in general. Now, Afnan has been a very impressive brand. Uh, recently, I also did a video on Tarathi Blue, which is completely different, but this is uh, Bulgari Tiger meets a little bit of Blue de Chanel, and it's a great, great fragrance. Nice presentation on these. That one's got great performance and quality, and this one also has fantastic performance and quality. Uh, projection longevity wise, I'm looking at about eight, nine hours, sometimes pushing 10 longevity. Projection is kind of there in the middle. It, this is one that kind of leaves a really nice trail. It can be a little bit elusive. It can be wispy and kind of flow through the air. Less distance, more hang time is kind of how this is. And that's how the original tuxedo is on me as well. So performance is kind of right there with mustache. Some people struggle with performance from that one. And so depending on your skin, this might actually outdo mustache, which might be good for you. And if, if you're someone who does struggle with that one, look into this. It's gonna be a bit more affordable and that might fix your performance issue. I know for me, I've had no problems. It's been very consistent with that performance number within that range. It's gonna depend on weather and a number of factors, but I really can't complain given the price point and just how close it is to the DNA. And so then it kind of comes down to which one should you buy? Because realistically, you don't need to own the, the trio here. You don't need to own all three. I would say, if you want my honest advice, first of all, don't buy the YSL. I really don't think that's necessary when you have access to these, unless you just have unlimited amounts of money and you don't want to deal with clones at all, then fair point, that's perfectly fine. Uh, but kind of going in further, I think you should get whichever one is more affordable at this time. So right now, I do think this is still gonna edge out mustache in terms of affordability. Now, if this starts to get a ton more hype and really generate some traction and the price goes up and it gets more expensive than mustache, then probably pick up mustache. But I think there, while there are some slight differences, but still very similar, I think you should just go for whichever one's gonna be more affordable. And again, if you have mustache, but maybe you're running low on your bottle, getting down to the end, and you're deciding, okay, should I rebuy that for a little bit more money or buy this? I would say maybe try rolling into this. If you've got a full bottle of mustache and it's not performing for you, it might not be a bad idea to pick one of these up for basically cheapy price and see if that fixes your issue. Again, it's not dirt cheap at 40 bucks, but when you compare this to tuxedo and other clones that can be significantly more expensive or other designer fragrances or mustache itself. It's nice savings here. So I think that's going to do it for me. Afnan Tarathi Brown. Going into this, I didn't know what it was going to be a clone of because I didn't look at reviews. I, uh, I looked at the note breakdown, but I wasn't for sure if that's what it was going to smell like because the note breakdown can be completely misleading. But as soon as I got this one in and sprayed it, 
Yeah, I knew exactly what they were going for, and they hit the nail on the head. This is fantastic stuff. Even though I have both, or all three, even though my bottle of mustache is still pretty healthy, and I've got another one, actually a backup of it anyway, uh, <laughs> the other one I typically wear through more. That's why this one is typically more full. I like to show the full bottles on camera when I can because it just looks better that way, especially when the juice adds to the color. I'm still happy to have this one just because of the affordability aspect, and I could layer the two together and still get a great result. Sometimes this may perform better than mustache on me, so all around, I'm happy with it. Alrighty guys, let me know if you've tried this one down below. If you have, let me know what you think. A link will be down below so you can pick it up as well. And also, deals going up on my community tab all day, every day. If you wanna check some stuff out there and get some of the best prices on fragrances you can, if you wanna get deals directly to your email, that way you don't miss out, you can use the link down below and sign up. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.